Okay, it looks pretty tricky. What I would recommend you do is uh, pick a side. And I'm going to pick this side to rewrite it. And let's go one step at a time. So what I'm going to do first is just write the root problem down. And it's 1 plus sine x. And on bottom, you get 1 minus sine x. I can multiply top and bottom by the bottom's conjugate, which would be 1 plus sine x. 1 plus sine x. What does this give you? The root of, well, on top you just get this, 1 plus sine x squared. And on bottom you get 1 minus sine squared x. Let's keep moving. Move over here. And you're going to get, let me just do the top. That's going to be 1 plus sine x quantity squared. And the bottom is the square root of. Well, 1 minus sine squared x is just simply cosine squared x. Now, there's a problem. I hope you remember when you uh, took 119, they told you the problem taking a square root of something, that uh, this bottom, you know, the cosine could be negative. But when I squared it, it would always be positive. So we're going to take the absolute value. kind of cleans up that problem. The top, one thing about the 1 plus sine squared x, it's, it's always non-negative. So I don't have to worry about the absolute value. So just simply 1 plus sine x. And we did. We showed what we're supposed to show, which is this over here. And we're done. Thank you.